T-Sites and Finivision X-Series oscilloscopes offer a broad range of power-related measurements with the power measurements option. This video is part of a series of several short videos on specific power supply-related measurements. Here we show a simplified schematic of a switch mode power supply along with a list of measurements that can be performed to fully test and characterize it. In this video demonstration, we'll focus on performing a power supply rejection ratio measurement, which is highlighted in green here. This particular measurement is often abbreviated as a PSRR measurement. Let's first define what a PSRR measurement is. A PSRR test provides a measure of how well a power delivery device such as a linear regulator or a low voltage dropout regulator rejects various frequency components injected at the DC input of the device under test. In other words, how much of a disturbance signal injected at the DC input reaches the regulated DC output. A sine wave is, in is injected and summed into the DC input and then swept from a low frequency to a high frequency. A DC plus AC summing device such as PicoTest J2120A line injector is required for this measurement. The measurement system measures both the input and output AC voltage levels and computes the rejection ratio as 20 log VN over V out at each frequency within the swept band. Although this measurement is typically performed using a low frequency network analyzer, it can also be performed using a Keysight InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscope. The built-in waveform generator, along with the power measurements option, makes this frequency response measurement possible for the first time in an oscilloscope. For our demonstration, we'll be testing a DC to DC linear power supply evaluation board from PicoTest. Our DC input, along with the AC input from the scope's generator, are connected to the input sign of the line injector, as you can see in the top of this photo. The output of the line injector, which will consist of a modulated DC signal, is connected to the DC input of our linear DC to DC converter. Probing is pretty simple. I've got my standard 10 to 1 passive probe connected to the modulated DC input. Probing the output is not as simple though. An AC component on the DC output is going to be an extremely low level signal. If I've got a good regulator, the output signal level is going to be sub millivolts peak to peak. This means that I will need to use a one to one passive probe. In addition, grounding the probe properly is critical to avoid picking up noise and interference in the probe's ground loop, which we should really think of as an antenna. So instead of using a standard ground lead on this probe, I've installed a solder-in probe socket on the board that will provide the best possible low noise probe connection. Let's start making measurements. I'll begin with a default setup. Then I'll go into the Analyze menu, which there's actually a front panel key that you can access this menu directly. Then select the Power Application. Under Analysis, I can see a list of all the power supply related measurements that can be performed with this scope if it has the power option. And by the way, we have videos on all of these. But right now, we're going to select the power supply rejection ratio measurement. Next, I'll go into the Signals menu. This gives me a diagram similar to what I showed earlier. And I have currently channel 1 connected to the DC input, actually the modulated DC input. So it's the DC input of the LDO, or the linear regulator. Channel 2, I'm using a one-to-one -one probe with a very short ground lead connected to the output. Now we can assign our input is channel 1, output is channel 2. Next, I'll go into the settings menu. And this is where we can define our test parameters. I can set the start and stop frequency. I'm going to use the default of 100 hertz up to 20 megahertz. I can set the max ratio. This is the max plotting ratio. Uh, 100 dB is a bit too high. The scope actually can't measure that high. So let's change this to 70 dB. 
and then we can set the amplitude of our test signal or our disturbance signal. In this case, I'm going to use 400 millivolts. To begin the power supply rejection ratio measurement, I simply press apply. The scope will automatically AC couple both the input and the output. The input is the yellow waveform, the output is the green waveform. It's also doing averaging to dig the very low level uh, output signal out of the noise floor. And you can see we're sitting here at one millivolt per division and we're less than half a millivolt peak to peak. Maybe we started around a quarter of a millivolt. You see the purple waveform creeping across screen. This is the PSS, PSRR plot. Now it looks like it's testing a single frequency, but the scope is actually changing the time base for each tested frequency. It runs pretty slow on the slow time base ranges, but it starts speeding up once it gets up to the uh, faster time base, faster frequency ranges. And there we've completed the sweep from 100 hertz out to 20 megahertz. When the sweep is completed, the scope automatically turns on the cursors and, and uh, tracks them to the PSRR plots. So up here at the lower frequencies, we can see we were getting about 64 dB of rejection. The maximum rejection occurred about here. It was about um, 68 dB. And down here we can see a dip, and that dip occurred uh, at approximately 1.74 megahertz and the uh, rejection was about 39 dB. Now although I don't claim that this PSRR measurement on this scope is as good as using a real frequency response tool such as the low frequency network analyzer, this solution is often good enough and it is definitely a convenient and probably the lowest cost solution to use for this particular measurement. As mentioned at the beginning of this demonstration, this short video was part of a series of several short videos on specific power supply related measurements. To learn more about InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscopes and how they can help you test and debug your power supplies, contact your local Keysight authorized distributor and ask for a demonstration. Thank you.